2024. Paul, the day is finally here. And we've all been counting down the days. I can't wait to get in there and tip this thing off. I was walking the streets of Hobart earlier. Nobody in the offices. Everybody is climbing into my state bank arena. Let's get this thing going. Well, like you said, the Tassie fans are piling into their seats, hoping that their team can defend the islands. A playoff series with Perth awaits the winner. The playing game against the winner of Sydney and New Zealand awaits the loser. The NBL 24 final series is underway in Tasmania. Jordan Crawford can't start us off with a bucket. Primick has a go. He misses the follow. I'll tell you what, Marcus Lee is down with what looks like a shoulder injury. A pretty significant one is Gary Clark in the corner. Lee is in all kinds of trouble at the other end of the floor. The he has thing. not moved. This is the last thing that the Jack Jumpers need straight away. He went down. Will Magnate's ready to check in. That's a good start there. Going up to Will Magnate. Jack McVeigh backing his way inside and banking it home. Oh, this place is electric. Harvey buries the triple. The Hawks back ahead by two. Crawford cross court to Drimmick from the corner. Bang! Doyle putting the moves on. Crawford outside, trying to float it home over, throwing Magnay on the follow. His energy's been terrific. Doyle out to McVeigh. Big hit! Get something going into this quarter time break. The Hawks take some momentum out of this opening term. Crawford for three. Bang! <laughs> and the Hawks will have the final say in the opening term. Blanchfield underneath for Hickey. He's surrounded by Jack Jumpers, still able to finish. McVeigh out to McDonald. This man is automatic. Timeout, Justin Tatum and the Hawks. Great move from Lee. Clark outside. That might get him going. Plays with plenty of confidence and energy. Tazzy's lead is 13. Here is Aubrey. Kicks it to the corner. Clark for three. Yep. He's found that range, but yeah, time out here from Scott Roth. Harvey keeps oh. his feet going to That's the tough. hoop. Spectacular oh, that's move. That's tough. Robinson up the other end. Lanchfield going toward the hoop. Albrick trying to hang it hit. Spills out to Robinson. Oh! Tremendous finish. His finishes around the basket are better than anybody I've ever seen. He uses his body well. He's got big shoulders. And he gets to the basket and finishes. Crawford at the other end! Says, I see you and I raise you! He's done that a couple of times now, Jordan Crawford. You think that the Illawarra Hawks are going to go on a little run of their own. And he answers back, and there's Will Magnay. With the steal, McDonald with the runaway. Uh -oh. Back to Magnay! <laughs> Final play of this first half. Robinson's heard it from the crowd. Off to Clark. Long two. Got it! Gary Clark, stone cold at the halftime buzzer. Doyle upstairs to Magnay, who rocks the rim again. Harvey Robinson, Hickey, Clark, rolling out there for the Hawks. Crawford, Drimmick, McVeigh, Magnay and Doyle. Clark from outside, buries another one. Crawford can't get the mid-range shot to go. Krizlovic keeps it alive. Oh, wow. oh, Crawford, the fancy footwork and a fabulous finish. Harvey steps back. Oh. Whack! Tyler Harvey. McVeigh now from outside. Return serve. They hit a three ball here. This place is going to erupt. Five on four break. Krizlovic up to Magnai. Third quarter was something you couldn't script if you tried. Sean McDonald from outside. Buries the triple. Sean McDonald's out at the other end. Reverse finish is good. Time out, Illawarra. Oh, my God. He has been huge. Wow. 5.36.
weeks remaining. Rolling inside against Magne, who says absolutely under no circumstance. McVeigh for three, buries it. The Hawks have made it a fight. It's a fight that they will ultimately lose, but they remain in the hunt. Johnson banks in the three. And the Tasmania Jack Jumpers progress to face the Perth Wildcats in a semi final series. Will Magne inspires the Jack Jumpers to a 92 76 triumph in the seeding qualifier. Well, the consequences for the winner and the loser couldn't be any more clear in the Harbour City tonight. The winner will progress, and for the loser, their NBL 24 campaign is over. The winner of this game will travel to Illawarra in a few days' time to play the Hawks. And for the loser, it is NBL 24 done. Alex Tui, the next star, 16 points in their last round of the season. Valentine short, there's Tui, right place, right time. And the Kings open in this 2-3 zone. Which has been a problem for them across the season. Zylan Cheatham upstairs. And Adams for three. And the Kings scoot away to an early lead in front of their home crowd. And Cheatham got in the passing lane. Jackson Cartwright, wow. head down, saw a path to the cup, and with the left hand lays it up. As the smallest player in the competition, you'd be surprised. He finishes at 60% around the rim, according to Synergy stats, as Adams keeps his rhythm going. <laughs> Late clock again for the Kings. Hope puts the ball on the floor and takes it all the way. Kawat Noy hit that three. Back end of the first quarter. Is really giving them some punch off the bench. Ho got himself some room. And then buries it. Timeout breakers. The play in qualifier. The winner will play Illawarra in a few days' time. Liafa got his man up in the air. This Cheatham has been a big problem for Sydney in this second quarter. Valentine only with two points to his name. Forces up a three with a hand in the face. Elite numbers. And Hunter says, I'm sick of y'all trying to beat me up. Get some of this. There he is in pole position underneath. There's room to shoot. Got it. Yeah, I, th I think I'm with you, Derek. I'd leave him out there. <laughs> Sydney reload. Bruce for three. I think Modi Mayor certainly made his feelings clear. Don't go over, don't well, go over. He, just, he just whispered to PJC, shoot it. <laughs> That's like whispering sweet nothings to Parker Jackson Cartwright. <laughs> Great tee from Jackson Cartwright. Adams came up with it, though. Hunter, first time no, second time no, Pogue the third time, and one. Oh, Tui with some space off the inbound. Alex Tui steps out and drains the three. He jumps out, Jackson Cartwright wow. with another hey, hey, rebound. Hey, hey. Great look for Rubs the Vicious, got it. Three point game. Nice pass, Adams for Hunter. There's a turnover. Galloway. Blocked by Roots the Vicious. Bonus possession for the Kings. Adams blocked over the back by Matiang. And Jackson Cartwright swatted by Hogue. End to end stuff. And Hogue on a rescue mission. With seven on the shot clock. Takes Cheatham baseline and scores. 
Oh, showing a stack of fight here tonight. Oh. Hunter rolls with authority. Jackson Cartwright. Bumped. Scores! And go You're up king. Hogue wide open. It's good. Well, you caught it, Derek. That man is a game changer. New Zealand have started this last quarter in a rush. Nine points to three. Their confidence is sky high right now. Oh. Jackson Cartwright. Well, the Kings have got a run in it. We, we know that they're capable of it, but it's who. And it can start here. The basketball has followed Parker Jackson Cartwright all night long. In many ways, it's been symptomatic of their season, Sydney. That end of the floor. This end hasn't been a problem for them. One of the league's very best scorers. And there is an easy basket. Oh! oh. Silent Cheatham with authority. Keith saw there was a travel. A score here. We just about see the breakers home. Well, they are so smart, New Zealand. Look at this. Five seconds to go, shoots the three. Good oh, nice! Parker Jackson Cartwright silences Kudos Bank Arena. That is enormous. And if you look at the Harvey Norman replay, he says, Sydney, you want to see the anti hero? Here I am. What a night this man has had. Hogue will try and throw something up as well. He certainly tried his hardest tonight. In a season of struggle, not once have the New Zealand Breakers given up. And tonight, in the face of extreme adversity, the Breakers keep their season alive. 83-76. New Zealand win over the Sydney Kings. Apparently not satisfied with the win. <laughs> PJC yelling at me. That's good. I'm not sure That's what's good. going on there, but there's a lot of excitement and tension in the building, Brad. Look at that crowd pouring into the win entertainment center for a moment at the halfway point of this season they would have told you there was no chance it was happening but a late season change and justin tatum as their new head coach new life new belief has been breathed into this franchise and the illawarra hawks they are here to stake this is do or die for them and set shots can be a little bit short what you want to try and do is get to the ring like this in the best floater in the league in tyler harvey Parker Jackson Cartwright gets it, single digits on the shot clock. Frolling cuts across now. They find Cheatham at the foul line once more. This time he elects to fire and he opens the breaker scoring account. That's a tough little touch shot from the free throw line. Something he's capable of doing. Yep. Swackler bullet got inside. PJC helps himself to the two. The shot clock rolls to red numbers. Harvey needs help, and here's Davo Hickey getting the start and getting the bucket. The Hawks haven't been here since the Brian Gorgian days. Yeah. And as a group, this is new. They played the game the other day. They were less than convincing as PJC gets one from the corner case. Nice finish. This Hawks pushing the tempo. They lead the league in fast break points, and Rollins got another two there and a chance at a three-point play. That's a beautiful roll there, and we know McDowell White can do that. Hickey gets it. Single digits on the shot clock against Will McDowell White. With a hesitation, dribble, knocks down the shot, drew a foul in the process. This is inspired from Davo Hickey. Frolling gets it against Pino. Spinning to the right, hand from close range, adds to the tally. It's a double figure lead, and Moody may have seen enough. It's timeout for the breakers. Well, Delaney's a guy here that can change as Lee goes for the layup here, and there's another one from Delaney. He is able to do that. He hasn't had the hands that he used to, and there's PJC getting downhill and makes the layup, but I like what Delaney can bring him. 
Inside the last three minutes of an opening quarter, that's had it all. And look at the finish here from Robinson. Looking for a spot in the semi-finals. Robinson inside to Lee. Nice look inside. Here's Robinson. Decides to go solo. Tough shot. Couldn't get it done. Lee does. A fifth offensive rebound and a putback. And it gives the Illawarra Hawks a 14-point lead at quarter time as the fans climb to their feet in Wollongong. Cheatham against Albrecht. Might like his chances here. Legs on the retreat. Shot clock to single digits. Now the Arpa pulls the trigger and it's all the bottom of the net. Clark, extra pass. Swakula Bullock, baseline. Lost the handle. Retrieves it. Gets it outside for Harvey. From a defensive point of view, the focus is Tyler Harvey for these last couple of minutes and limiting his impact. How about the hustle from the New Zealand breakers there to shut down Illawarra and well, didn't take their opportunities. John, we got a problem. McDowell White has not moved down the other end. He is sitting down on the court there. He has not gone up since the whole jump and the block happened and he was holding his left ankle. Now White go down there. Presumably after landing on a foot. Ah, oh, that's it. Yeah, well. Friendly fire from PJC. Well, here's Liapa. Yes! Great find. Great find, PJ Sealy. Matt, the ankle is in the paint for a long time. The lady outside rattles in another triple. They tie it away at 40. Rubs to Vicious. Feeds Parker Jackson. Can't try. He can go the length of the floor in a blink of an eye, and he gets the layup. What a finish. Right on the halftime buzzer. The break is tired away here. Coming back from 15 down to tie it at 42 apiece. And a chance for the Hawks here. Rolling up the floor quickly. Uses Swakala Bullock. Bounces into Mango Mathiang and gets it done. Well, remember, Case, in the first half when Sam Brolin came out of the game, it was when New Zealand started to get it going again as PJC pulls up from three off the left hand. Game down to six. Robinson again with the fend off, making room for the two. He's got 12. He's got 10 in this quarter. Delaney being good in patches, stripped of it almost by Harvey, whose hustle was outstanding. Comes to Parker, Jackson can't right now. Have a crombie. This is outside. Whoops to Vicious for the triple. Breakers bench up on their feet. They're back to within four. It's the Hawks by six right now. Parker Jackson Cartwright is looking to reduce that for Delaney. Wide open three. Yes! And I don't know about you, Brad, but I might need a recovery session myself wow. after this game. Fantastic action in the Hungry Jacks NBL Trust. You're enjoying our coverage around Australia and beyond. The business end of the season is delivering as Liapa takes them on. Feeds it to Abercrombie. And he wow. comes up with the goods. Tom Abercrombie puts New Zealand in front for the first time in the game. And we've got seven minutes to play. Hawks looking for their first field goal of the last quarter. Sam Crowling provides it and a chance of a three-point play. Cheatham against Clark. Wants to take him on. Muscles his way in from close range. It counts. Shot clock rolls to five as Parker Jackson Cartwright works on Dave O'Hickey. Extra pass and a finish in style from Mango Matthew against his former team. Timeout Hawks. And here they are, the middle stages of the fourth, and they're down four and struggling to score. Froden deals into traffic. He was good enough to finish it off. 18 is a game high for Sam Froden. Tarby, can he find the hot hand? Clark. Well, they left Robinson wide open, and he makes them pay! Fourth spot up for grabs here, a spot in the semi-finals against Melbourne United starting Thursday. J-Rod, back-to-back triples, has the Hawks in front! Parker Jackson, Cartwright gets it now, isolated against here. He feeds the corner, Liar for the danger man, rattles down the triple. That's his third three of the game, and the breakers are back on top. Frolic, two on the shot clock, needs to get busy. Tough shot with a fall away. He banks it off the window. Parker Jackson can't right behind the back. Rushes to the rim. He banks the two. Ten seconds on the clock. Robinson in traffic, trying to draw a foul. And eventually, the referee's obliged with a whistle. So Justin Robinson will try and improve on the 12 of 12 from the free throw line.
Three-point ball game. Last play, or are we going to OT? Parker Jackson, Cartwright, steps into a tough shot. And then halfway down to jump down. And the Hawkins are going to the semi-finals. Unbelievable finish. Parker Jackson, Cartwright had it looped down. Take a look. Jump out. And the Hawkins have prevailed here in an epic 88-85. Justin Robinson, you don't miss a free throw. 14 of 14. How are you able to stay so ice cool? Uh, big time players step up for big time games. Uh, 28 games of preseason off a comeback year. I'm not going to make an excuse, but I mean, I'm happy that we're rolling and we're continuing to go to the playoffs now. A game high 26 points. You mentioned last year the injury that wiped out your season. What does a performance like that mean to you, Justin? Uh, it just shows who I am. It shows the resiliency of my parents and how they raised me. It shows my teammates they put me in the right positions. Um, I'm just grateful. I'm blessed and I'm, I'm happy I can play this game. Justin, you've just delivered Illawarra its first playoff win at home since 2017. Seven long years. How good is that? It's what I came back for. Uh, the guys went 3-25. and 25. I didn't want to give up on them. They're great. They're fantastic. Last year's team. Shout out to Coach Jake and then we turned around this year with JT, and now it's going to continue to roll. we got Melbourne coming up, so that's going to be a tough task for us. Justin Robinson, on behalf of many appreciative Hawks fans tonight, well played. Match winner. Thank you. My man.